purpose of this video is to show some solo training ideas for art of walking. Um, it's just solo stick training, it's not fighting technique as such. Obviously these uh, methods of using the stick can be used in stick fighting, quarter staff fighting, that kind of thing. So it's, uh, it's just some ideas about how you can move. Um, the main goal is to get a very heavy stick, one that you can't get your hand round, uh, one that's a lot taller than you, and one that you can't control just by using your hands and your arms. You must use your body. The whole purpose of this is to get you walking, um, not get hit by the stick, um, and be able to... The stick should be free in your hands. It should be able to move uh, between your hands, um, and it should be able to rotate around any parts of your body. You should use your arms, your legs, your back, hips, even your neck, uh, shoulders, to control the stick. Um, not just simply twirl it in your hands. In my opinion, a lot of martial arts that concentrate on stick fighting, um, they use much, uh, very light sticks. Um, they can move very fast, you can hit very hard with them. Um, for a pure fighting point of view, you struggle to do do better. Um, short, fast sticks are, are generally better than long, heavy ones. But in terms of teaching you body mechanics and movement, a big, heavy stick, one that you probably would never ever fight with because it would just move too slowly and too hard to control, um, is very good. Primarily going to be using a tall eucalyptus um, piece of branch. Um, it's very heavy uh, for its very dense wood. It's quite a bit taller than me and uh, it requires body movement and not just hands. So that's what I'm going to show. I'm also going to show slightly smaller sticks when I get a bit tired of, um, and I'm going to show walking on uneven ground, uh, specifically other training sticks laid out on the ground and that just encourages you to develop your balance. It's not to be in perfect balance, it's not to have uh, tightrope walker ability is just to be able to respond to what is under your feet um, in the middle of combat. In front of you there are four sticks. In a moment I'll show you how tall they are in relation to me. The one on the left is what I consider the ideal height. It's a uh, full reach above my head. Uh, but the diameter of the stick is a wee bit narrow. The next one to it, um, which is a very heavy piece of eucalyptus, is probably a, pretty much the perfect diameter. It's too big for the hand to close around um, and it makes control quite difficult, uh, which is what you want. The other two on the right, uh, one is a very even uh, diameter and it moves a lot faster, so it's good for experiment. Um, the one on the far right is a very imbalanced pole, it's quite uh, thick at one end and much thinner at the other and so you, the balance point isn't in the middle so it gives you uh, quite a different range of motions
hopefully you've got an idea of what we do or one training drill you could do uh, you'll notice the different speed of the sticks and I hope you notice that when I use the lot lighter um, stick the thinner diameter how I could just control it with my arms and hands alone and stand in one spot as soon as I picked up the heavy long heavy stick again I had to start moving my feet in a fighting situation you can just stand in one spot and hit somebody if that's what circumstance dictates but there are times when you really need to be able to move as well and too often training is not done on the, on the movement of feet um, and uh, the proper generation of power from the feet. Hopefully this gives you a little bit of an idea about how your own personal training could go uh, if you don't have an instructor to hand or you don't have training partners. This really is probably above all the best exercise for solo training that uh, Igor can think of. And certainly it's that's a lot of fun, very enjoyable, and uh, you learn a lot. Hope you enjoy.